want to look at graphs that can shift horizontally to the left, to the right, or to the left. So imagine I have some function f of x. Now if I want to shift it to the left, I'm going to add a constant inside the function. If I want to shift it to the right, I'm going to subtract a constant within the function. Now I want you to notice two things. One, notice that the constant now is within inside the function. With vertical shifts, the constant was outside of the function. It was added to the function. But with a horizontal shift, the constant is added within the function. The other thing too that always threw me off is, wait a minute, if I'm shifting to the right, I'm subtracting the constant? That seems counterintuitive. Yeah, it does. But let's kind of unpack this, and this is an idea that will really help you understand what's going on. So let's imagine that I have um, some f of x um, equals x squared, and I want to compare that to uh, x minus 3 squared. Now this is a constant that I'm subtracting, well, was subtracting from the function, which should move it to the right. So let's look at some numbers and compare. So imagine if my x value is a negative 2. What does the function become with negative 2? Negative 2 squared becomes a 4. All right, now let's pick a unit, a, a coordinate, that's three spots to the right from negative 2. That would be 1. Now let's put 1 into this function. What are we going to get? 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared becomes a 4. Let's try another point. Let's try the point 1. 1 squared equals a 1. Let's try a point three units to the right, stick it into this function, which is subtracting three, um, which is the point three units is a four. Put that into the function, x minus three was one, one squared becomes a one. And I just chose a couple of points. Let's just choose one more. Let's choose zero. Zero squared becomes zero. Zero minus three, oh sorry, three points to the right of zero, which is three. 3 minus 3 is 0, 0 squared becomes a 0. So I hope by that, that's giving you enough confidence that in order for a function to shift to the right, I'm subtracting a constant within the function. So it is counterintuitive, but if you ever get stuck on that, please come back to this idea right there so we can get a sense of here's what's happening. So let's look at an example. Um, let's imagine that we have a function... Um, square root function. And we want to compare that with uh, g of x equals, which way do I want to go? x plus 5. So what do you imagine is going to happen? Well, let's look at our first graph. Our first graph is a square root function, which has a basic look as such. So that's my f of x. Now my g of x is going to take every point and shift it, which way? As a positive constant, which means we shift it counterintuitively to the left. So rather than the point 0, 0, we're going to have the point negative 5 and 0. And then the graph will continue in that fashion whereas in this entire function shifted to the left five units. So there's a little bit of an idea of how we can use horizontal shifting to obtain another like graph.